Yo, what's going on guys? Extra Hawk here. Today what I'm going to go to Ring is going to be something a little bit different, something I have not done. And I really haven't seen a lot of people do it either on YouTube or actually I have not seen anybody do it at all. And we're going to go ahead and review Pfeiffer's mod. Uh, well, it's not really a review. I'm just going to go ahead and see uh, the CONCACAF, see how it plays out. Stuff like that. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, since EA doesn't really care about the North American community, or maybe I shouldn't say they don't care about them. We just don't get any special features or anything like that. Like South America has Libertadores Sudamericana. Uh, Europe has uh, Champions League and Europa League. And I believe the Asian community also has their Continental Cup. But uh, North America doesn't for some reason. So uh, Pfeiffer went ahead and added it for us. And we're going to go to take a look. But first, we're going to look at the new teams they added. Uh, as you can see, they added Boca Juniors. The real badge, the real kits. Uh, same thing as River Plate. Uh, so both of those teams are in. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick at some other teams they added. Italy, of course. Uh, Roma's back. They don't have that generic badge. They also have their new kits. She look amazing. Uh, Juventus. Also with the new kits. Look at that second kit. It looks amazing. Five star, of course. And yeah, so everything everything looks pretty cool. They uh, also adjusted the transfer budgets. As you can see, now America only has eight. I believe in regular FIFA, they have 14. And all the other teams are also switched around a little bit. I'll go through all of them just so you guys can see. And I'll go through the MLS while I'm at it. They also adjusted some of the transfer budgets most of the transfer budgets for them uh, some of them got lowered some of them got higher and they added the new Houston Dynamo badge as you guys can see pretty cool to see that uh, they would pay that much attention to detail and yeah so they added a bunch of new player faces everything like that but what we're most interested in is checking out the Champions League the CONCACAF Champions League so I'm just just for the fun of it I'll go in uh, as and I'll go ahead and show you guys how it looks real quick yeah, so it says no continental club competition, but uh, that's a lie. Uh, when we simulate a little bit, since it's not like right at the beginning of the season, it won't show up for us. But as we keep simulating, it'll show up. I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, as soon as we're on the page. All right, so another cool feature they added, not that important, but you can see on the top left, uh, they added the cups and now they're branded. It's not just a generic cup, it's... Uh, I'm not trying to pronounce that, but it's a cup. It's the brand that sponsors uh, Barcelona. And uh, they also added new features like new shirts, new jackets, stuff like that. As you can see, that uh, that jacket isn't actually in the game. And it's a uh, Puma jacket, so I think that's pretty cool. And uh, this mod is also supposed to make things a little bit more realistic, like the tra transfers and stuff like that. And look at this. Uh, they went from Squad Hub to injury list. I don't know if you guys remember this, but a couple of FIFA's back, we had injury list. If you go now, you actually have to go all the way into Squad Hub, look at all the things before you can actually look at the injury list. So that kind of sucks. So this is amazing. And then kit numbers makes it super freaking easy just for us to change the numbers. Just like that. We don't have to go in, change the plans, change anything like that. Pretty cool. And uh, team sheets also. Uh, I don't know if you guys recall last year, we were able to see just the overall of every single team, every single player on every single team. And for some reason, they took that off. I don't know why, but uh, it's pretty cool. They actually brought it back and it's its own little tab. We can just go to it and we can see every single team. All right. So yeah, the cup doesn't show up right now. I have to simulate a little bit. So let me go ahead and sim a little bit forward and I'll go ahead and show you guys when the cup actually pops up for us. All right, so now the moment everybody has been waiting for. Uh, as you guys can see, you guys can see the brand new tab, the CONCACAF CL, the CONCACAF Champions League. Go ahead and take a look. Unfortunately, I I, I thought Tigres were going to play in it, but they actually don't. So round one looks like it's all against, it's only MLS teams here uh, to qualify to the quarterfinals. And then it goes four teams against four teams in the quarterfinals. Uh, and it looks like it's Santos... Uh, Rayados, America, and Pumas. Actually, no, it's five teams. Five teams from Mexico and three teams from the MLS, so it makes it even harder for the MLS to win it. But we're going to go ahead and simulate uh, to the end of the season, and we're going to see who wins it uh, here in this just uh, first simulated season. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool to see. 
All right, so it looks like in the quarterfinals, Santos Laguna actually takes a loss to Atlanta United. Monterrey absolutely destroys America, and they beat them 5-1. to one. Pumas beats LAFC, and then Portland Timbers actually advances. So two MLS teams here in the semifinals, and they have to face off, unfortunately. It looks like Portland Timbers actually had a better game, and Monterrey as well beat Pumas. And then, so the final is against Monterrey and Portland Timbers. It would actually be pretty cool to see uh, Portland Timbers win it. I believe it'd be pretty cool. It looks like it's gonna be played uh, May 31st. We're gonna simulate to May 31st, and just just for the fun of it, we're gonna see who wins. And it looks like Portland Timbers actually went ahead and took this uh, Champions League. You love to see it in this new FIFA 21. Portland actually wins it. Which is absolutely amazing to see. I know we haven't seen that from an MLS team in forever, but that's super, super cool to see. But I just want to go ahead and show. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys uh, the new mod. Uh, a lot of content coming out from me uh, with this mod. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a lot of rebuilds. Uh, make sure you guys leave down in the comments if you guys want to see anybody specific, any specific team. But uh, yeah, that's been the Coca-Cola Champions League. Just one more look at the menu. The beautiful, beautiful menu. Finally getting our justice we deserve. And uh, I also believe the Club World Cup is in this. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on that. Not too sure. Uh, but uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's been Extra Hawk. Peace.